Hello, this is Drew Thalen. Today's tutorial is going to be within an Excel 365, and we're going to be creating this chart over here on the right hand side. Basically, we're going to be adding an average line to our Excel column chart so you could further analyze the data that you have. So, what we're trying to do is we're going to Look at this data set over here, which is a ba basically a random set of salesperson's names with their sales. And basically, we want to see which salespersons exceeded the average sales so we can further target uh, other individuals that didn't meet those expectations and make corrective issues in the sales practices. So let's go ahead and recreate this chart over here. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to select the data here. And we're going to go up to our ribbon, click on insert, and we're going to go over here to the charts group and click on the column charts. And we're going to just select the uh, 2D column chart. So what we're going to be doing here, and let's uh, redo this uh, uh, chart over here. So first of all, what, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to select the data series. In this case, we only have one series of data, which is the sales data. So once you click on it, uh, go ahead and press a uh, shortcut key is control one or right click and it'll bring up your uh, format data series pane over here on the right hand side if you don't have a fixed location for it. So what we first want to do is we want to decrease the gap width. The gap width uh, is basically the gap that it's, at the, it's the distance between the bars on your or, or the columns on this particular chart. So we want to decrease that space. So we're going to go over here, control A to select all of it. And let's randomly select 80%. And as you can see, it decreased that space between the columns. So now what we can do is uh, we'll format the columns, the fill color. So again, either control one or right click this time I'll press control one and bring up the format data series. Let's go over here to fill icon. And what we want to do is we want to select fill, cell if you will, and then uh, it automatically selected my last color, fill color that I had. So if you want to change it, you could go over here and select your colors or select the custom color down here. So that's that. Now, in order to get this average line here, uh, there's uh, what we need to do is we need to add uh, another calculation to our, our data set over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just call this average. And then what we want to do is we want to calculate what was the average sales between all these salespeople. So what we're going to do is use a formula called average, and we're going to select this range. And what it's going to be doing is after it uh, utilizes all these numbers, it's going to calculate the average between them. Press, uh, what we want to do is we want to have the same average value for each person. So that's why you have a straight solid horizontal line here. So in order to do that, once we can, uh, copy this formula down, we want to fix this reference by pressing F4. And that will fix this entire range here. Press Enter, and you get that. Now let's just copy this down. Double click that little square. Uh, icon towards the bottom of your selected range that will automatically fill down to the last row of your data. Excel automatically detects that this is the last row. Okay, now there's two ways that we can add this uh, data to our chart. 
one way and I'm going to show you to both ways. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to select this entire range here, press control C, select your chart, make sure your chart is selected, now press control V. And what Excel does, since this is a column chart, it's automatically going to take this data here and add another column or another data series to your chart. Okay, that's one way that you can add it. So I'm gonna press Control Z. Let's do this, press Control Z to uh, deselect that. Let's uh, refill this. Okay, the other way that you could add this data, it, again, is going ahead and select your chart you can right click and select data, or you could go up to the ribbon, go into chart design, and go to the data group and select data that way. And what you want to do is you want to come over here to the left and click on add. You want to add another data series. So basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to select this, uh, which is a column header. Now let's select the series values. So what we're going to be doing here is going to select this series value here, click OK. And now it added that um, other series as a column to your chart. Now what we want to do is basically is we want to create this average data here into a line chart. In order to do that, you could uh, select the chart and you want to select, go up to the ribbon and under this type group, click on change chart type, or you could right click and uh, go from this menu itself to change chart. What we want to do is we want to select a combo chart and for the average series, we want to create a line. Now, Excel automatically selected this for us, so we don't have to select the type of um, chart that we want. We do want a line and click OK. And so now it created a line here for us. Now, to format this line, you could select the series itself, the whole line, and press Control 1. Format data series, what we want to do is we want to change the color of the line itself. Let's go over here, solid line. Here's the uh, change it to whatever color that you want. I'm just going to choose black and I'm also going to change the line to a dash line. So what we can come down here uh, to dash type and select what you want. And it goes ahead and does that. Now, what we want to do is we want to be able to distinguish what this line is so we could add a data label to it. So if you select the series line itself and select where do you want this data label to appear, over here or over here or anywhere else. I want to select it in this area so it's a nice gap. So after selecting the line itself, select one of these data points as a single one. Now press control one. And now, uh, well, actually, no, we don't want to do that. We want to be able to, to add a data label. So right click on that data point and select add data label. And it adds it, automatically adds it here. Now we want to change the position of that data label. So select the data label. Press Control 1 to bring up this uh, Format Data Label pane, and it automatically uh, comes over to this Label Options area. And we want to come over down here and we want to select the label position. So we want to bring it above the line itself. Now, if, uh, to further format this, select this, and you can press Control B, the bold that uh, data label itself. We could also increase the size by going to the and then change the font size. 
So we can increase it to further enhance the visual data level. Now, what we want to do, we could also add a chart uh, uh, title to it. So select your chart here, click this. Uh, this is one way to do it. Add a chart element, and what we want to do is add a chart title. Click within the chart title and type in whatever title that you want. So that's how you create uh, a simple chart like this. And to add, add an average line to further enhance your chart visualization. Uh, hopefully this uh, tutorial gave you some ideas on creating charts, adding another data series to your chart, and further formatting that chart to make it visually effective. Again, I want to thank you for stopping by today. You have a great day. Remember to like and share this video. And as always, please subscribe to my channel so you can get further uh, updates on Excel and other uh, tutorials like Power BI or Microsoft Word and even Microsoft PowerPoint in the future. Thanks again. You have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.